Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and living here. An amazing, spectacular propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. He looks like Defender of the Fatherland. Off you to one v one on crossing in the woods in the north. It is Angry Dutchman fighting for the Obok Commander West, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the third Panzer Division. Well, oh, watch Grand Offensive and Firestorm. Triple Infantry versus himself. It is Tiramiso fighting for the Red Army, the Soviet Union. Comrade Stalin and his mustache. Well, probably not that bit there. But anyways, taking on the role here of the 7th Mechanized Corps with airborne troops. Defensive and urban defense. That's quite a bit of defensive there. With infantry and double mine bulletins there. And as always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters. Those wonderful people. Those champions of the propaganda ministry who support it. In both good and bad. You too can join the ranks of Plenty on Patreon. I'll ask you a big thanks to them as always. And of course, you can always just donate. Links in the description. And finally, just comment, like, share, subscribe. Press the bell button. Help spread the word of the propaganda cast. Also does me a lot of good. Anyways, Special Rough Command side here for Tiramisu with penal troopers on the way. The Strafniki. Angry Dutch and hanging up hard west for the western fuel pump. Following about here as well. And we got the second squad team moving towards the center here for Angry Dutchman. Which probably always precludes it. It's grand defense. Meaning it's either Firestorm. It's Overwatch here from Angry Dutchman. And there you go. Pion troops out. The Strafniki quick with the SPT-40 semi-automatic rifle. Fun fact. The Sodan was actually intended to be quick with those. Primarily as its, you know, main rifle. But the war began, you know, faster than the Soviet Union could act over those ready. So they would just hand out like case-to-case -case bases. Like you'd have, for example, naval infantry in Sevastopol being equipped with it. For some, you know, a lot of infantry and across the entire eastern front, for example, not have access to it. So some fun details there. Sturm Pioneer Pursuit Engineers here. M31 on the way there for Tidamiso. Let's go and put some more verbal pressure there on Angry Dutchman. Of course, depending on what Tidamiso does, uses it. It could become a real problem there for Angry Dutchman. But there you go, M3 A1 out. Light Scout Car, American uh, Lend Lease Vehicle. Fun fact there. I believe they're primarily used in the sort of type of motorized formation known as the Rotara Zetki, was sort of a sort of semi scout advanced, you know, team formation. The Serbs had they'd sort of be able to. Look up gaps in this German lines and then quickly push into them and try and hold them until like the main force could arrive. If I remember correctly, though, my might be a bit spotty there. Anyways, my understanding of that. Anyways, following about his jump, supporting and units holding up here, charging force there. Pim to up the scout car. Use correctly. This can be quite a nasty punch. Thank you, definitely going for a truck already. Probably a Belgian head pull. There could be mechanisms there. Go forces quickly falling back as they find the retreat path in. Heavy peril. In fact, he's trying almost looks like trying to block the retreat path, force them out to a longer path. They're going to use right in the south here by the Fulton Committee. Still passing the button. Mines down here from Angry Duck. Very good. Sending seats by the Fulton Committee. We've got more penalties here for Tiramiso. A second team of Strafniki. Penal troopers. There so far. Pretty much 50 50 ish in terms of map to the slight edge there to Angry Duck. In terms of victory points, we've got more mines here. Obviously, looking to defend the crossings and catching the vehicles, for example. Shumina can be quite good in dealing with the M3 and of course infantry in general. So there you go, folks. Got routed here as well. Tiramiso strikes hard, and uh, Angry Dutch so far basically decides not to fight this engagement if he can avoid it, which I think is a very simple approach there, to be honest. Battle head calls up there for Angry Dutch and the German army, T3 to Panzer Dick Short. Sees an Eastern Victory Point here with the engineers. Sturm Pioneer advancing, got Angry Dutch with Overwatch, I think, with the Jaegers. Early warning systems for the Fatherland. Howitzers and of course Sector Assault. Scout Car there putting back the Sturm Pioneers again. Team is striking hard here at Angry Dutch in the early game. And Angry Dutch so far basically again instead of trying to fight these engaged from most of the time just retreat for there. Go Panther's ready. Catching here to the miss off guard. So that's set. The Scout Car is still operable and can be fixed up swiftly. But even then they just Angry Dutch from choosing his engagements wise. And there go going for deep flank here. Trying to take out the M3-1 there. With the Fox one in there with a the Panther first. Good work there Angry Dutch. Bit risky since he will be, you know, sticking his hand into Hornets to make him do this, but at the same time, if he can get rid of this, it will nonetheless represent a significant tactical victory, which, you know, he is clearly willing to sacrifice maybe a full support, but in this case, it didn't happen. That was kind of close ish there. Pushing Westwood Team, you need to turn to the mines, good work there. Angry Dustman with the 251 17 flat half track. Pimps are holding up the full screen, Jump Punch as well there. Falling back in the center, back here, troops setting out there. So, triple penal troops here for Tiramiso so far. No sign of adoption, though. Considering he's going heavy on the penal troops, I'm guessing airborne troops are less likely, meaning it's either defensive tactics here or urban defense. Which of the two, though, hard to say, but I might guess urban defense for the KV2 heavy assault tank. And you need to be shot this out in the open. Need to be careful about that, obviously. Pushing westwards here with the engineers. 
And we got the third penalty called Wing Whispers as well. So far, Team Israel has now managed to get quick control of the map here versus Angry Dutchman. But that is likely going to change in a few moments once the 251 17 flak half track arrives. Fox is piling up here, dead in the uh, redoubt here. Holding up Frank the Shrafniki there with a Kalna TKs. He's busy back to work. They've got Megs up there for Team Israel. Nicely timed. Hits a mine. Cheeky there, Tidamisa laid down a mine roughly almost there next was his opponent's mine was. Bit of a blind spot there, I guess. Clearing up more mines. Again, good work by Tidamiso. Thumbs up. And now we got the 251-17 flak half tag out there. Note there were numerous variations of this flak half tag. This particular version, I believe, was actually one that was common to the ongoing Falchium. Plans are going to be shown in Italy, but sort of like a workshop modified version. There's numerous versions of this. In fact, there were some versions that had like multiple machine guns or you know f and aircraft guns if you will they're known as the flag drilling they're like much more later in the war like 1944-45 so little fun fact i'm kind of sad they didn't go for that one i think that'd be much more interesting but anyways lion to tango team we do get defensive or open defense here for tito mesa again like it's also open up for the kb2 as sort of a late game option plus it gets access to shock troopers giving some options there versus angry dutchman but both fuel pumps control there for Tidamisa could be a problem there for Angry Duck and this order up sending troops eastward to try and contain this issue before it becomes too uncontrollable here for the Germans. We got Jaeger Light Infantry squads out there as well to support his men. He's near slaying down mines on the well, sandbags. Sneaky there by Tidamisa. Thumbs up. So in this case, got Spartan watching the Israel. Imagine Angry Duck will destroy the mine here. Please deal with the minesweeper eventually. On the west here, seize the point. Eastern fuel point almost ceased here by Angry Dutchman. Yep, got the mine with the flag half track. Got the info detention, we hold four chip to get one small. Shoots, misses, the folks gonna be up. And we got Pumas with the Sturm Pioneer here, that should be a win for the Strafniki. That should be a win for those chaps. And the center flag half track is the line to Tangan. Good hit there, punches right through the front line. Pumas will have been suppressed, which does open up for an infant assault here. By Angry Dutch and Jig and Fulton charging at the anti tank appeals with the magic guns are pressed just in time, but even then, they may struggle with the sheer numbers now. And Balls are worth noting in this case, he's just focused on the anti tank to open up for the flag half to the head again. More people with the round to the situation here. And Tidamiso narrowly averts possibly a collapse here in the center, and even then, may still happen. As the Bandana gonna prove to be a problem there for the Strafniki. Tank V10 coming up here for Tidamiso, get to rush out to Tidamiso versus uh, Angry Dutch, and that'd be obviously. Very good. Meanwhile, there's no response to the harassers in the east there from Angry Dirt. And the raiding team continues undaunted. Fumes of the close event in Z1, which opens up for the to the last man ability. Now you're going to turn it up there with the high close of shells. Doing some nasty damage. Possibly won't be able to last much longer. There you go, Banham Granada. Flat car prep that would be considered repaired. Okay, not halfway done. Troops are forcing healing. Obviously, Angry Dutchman is very concerned about the fast T70 at the moment. Timing is certainly right for it. Flat car prep arriving. Tidamisa very close to the T70. He has the fuel. He just needs the manpower more than anything now. Do you need something? It's probably where things are a bit tight at the moment here for Tidamisa. It's simply the manpower department. <laughs> Grand Eastern Ponty with the full Grenadier. West side here, flag after the back to Punch can quickly fix up the damage inflicted and get it back in action here versus the Soviets. Mines in the center from Tidamiso's men. Totally laying down mines from those mi men have never done that. Also, the Strafniki in the east and the west here. Clearing up mines, by the looks of it. Though perhaps uh, the Sturm Punches are a bit too uh, close to the mining question. I was swinging up the east side, east and fuel, and that's going to risk falling under control of Tiramisu and the Red Army. Mines in the center, very good work, back here to reinforcing healing. So, yeah, a bit of quiet in combat, which then allows Tiramisu to build up the manpower needed for the T 70 light tank. Of course, it could go for an Asian 6M, though I expect that one to be a little less likely, but not impossible. Heading for the eastern point here, season center with engineers, part wire going off, very good. Fix up the flag half track. <coughs> oh, my apologies about that sneeze. So, yeah, Tinamiso still in a good set of situation in terms of map control. There we go. Teeth and light tank on the way to put pressure on Angry Dutchman. He will probably need at least one more academy map to improve his chances against it. I mean, he could probably pull it off with the single academy map, but typically you end up going for two. 
just to have a better chance there. Lots of mines from Tidomiso. Thumbs up. Very thorough work there. Makes it hard for like, Angry Duck just to stage an easy combat. But yeah, he's pushing for less than point, figuring that is where Tidomiso is well, least concentrated. In fact, there's absolutely no concentration of Tidomiso's forces in the west. So, very well predicted there by Angry Duck. And it's well, well read. MD34 following up to help deal with infantry to help contain the Shtafaniki. T7 is almost done here. And will pose a significant obstacle here for Angry Dutchman. Particular to him, he does really well with it. And the center force is the penal troops, Jaeger joining in as well there. That'll certainly be helpful. And there you go, mine goes off on my Kenna, killing Otto. T7 in the east side. Quick with a port from the gun. Will be a problem there for Angry Dutchman, men. There we go, going for flank with the T7 here behind. Angry Dutch in front, unlike Kevin, it's already exposed. So, good play there by Tidomiso. Nice exploitation here of a mistake, I think, there by Angry Dutch a bit tactically. Obviously, at the same time, I can't stand once they more active with it, but can't mind your flanks, and there you go. Punished here. But perhaps not as bad as it could be, to be honest. Perhaps not as bad as it could be. Still getting some damage in there. Angry Dutch is their flank now collapsing as the threat of the T70 unstopped. Is simply put too great here for Angry Dutch to ignore. Two kills for the T semi so far. Shock troops have arrived. in shock troops to further pressure to Angry Dutch, and that's going to certainly complicate things further here for him. Now the Tron is going to try and take up here. Makes sense. Flak up in front of the T semi doing some damage here. Getting shoot shot through the rear armor of the T semi light tank. But even then. Map control situation remains very much Soviet here. Got the truck out there for Angry Dutchman, the Schwerer Wehrmacht Schlepper. And he's got the center victory point, Western Point is the Strafniki, grabbing the Western victory point, so forcing up through the center against Jimmy's positions. Kada shattered ruthlessly here by Timmy's T7. There you go, Kevin gets a good hit in return though. Water running up the eastern side again. In this regard, Timis has clearly shown to be somewhat predictable in how he operates, and this allows Angry Dutch to so say more easily just harass because he then knows like Timis then focus out west or center. We focus east center, like you know, he doesn't tend to not leave like a lot there on the side. So in this case, he's despite troops that perhaps expecting a harassment move. So either way, perhaps he's starting to adapt here. Jaegers. On the wrong side of the heavy cover, I hate when that happens, like, you know. That one's a bit annoying. The enemy is encroaching on our territory. Looks like Angry Dutch has realized that they go, got a flank of the engineers. Put the force retreat on the foot, it's going to be, so they take no chances there. Unless they've got their fireproof underwear. Back here into the missile space, if we consider taking up soon here, as Angry Dutch, and we'll need more has taken up. You can also authorize it, but we'll take a bit of while there to then do anything with it besides almost that. T70 strikes from the center, shock the back up. Definite problem here for Angry Duck. And then the tank weapon is not a position to resist the assault. Panda Pass T bot used to buy time, but that's about it. It's back up setting up here. Needs to stop the shock troopers fast. But that like Kevin is gonna be in a lot of trouble. We also got the air teaming up here to support the shock troops with the T70 violence. And Tinamisa just push ahead with it, doesn't care about the damage engine here. Bit risky, but at the same time, they've got no glory in this case, not to be paying off here. Schwer punt calls a hit for the settled charge, but still operable. Still operable. Situation of Angry Dash remains precarious. And will take some time to get out any kind of uh, armor. Shooting up down the flank. Flak up and remains there, though heavily damaged. One more hit from the end tank to take it out, and that could leave Angry Dutch in an incredibly bad position here as a Tilabuso. Who is already taking a head here, making us armor company on the way. And could just begin churning up T-34 some sixes. That's gonna be a real problem for Angry Dutch with just one like head now and a flak off track. Because that's gonna be very unlikely to stop T-34 some six unless Tilamisa handles it incredibly poorly. Which is, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's not something you should, like, you know, strategically count on. Ooh, straight to a lot of mines here. Angry Dutchman didn't be taking heavy losses. Again, Tim is meaning paying off nicely. And there you go, flanking for the center. Need to shoot Angry 34 before it's too late. Black up and repair back in the base. 
He could consider some mobile sun put more pressure on Timmy's with infantry and support with them directly, but I think a second cannon weapon would probably be a higher priority. Unless Tim is does not Oh there we go, he does go for the T thirty four six I was like, is he not gonna go for it? He's gonna actually try and go for the uh, KB2 already, that'd be I think a pretty bad move by Tito Mesa, and thankfully he did not do that. Um, though I imagine Angry Dash would kinda of would want to hope his opponent, you know, didn't go for T thirty four some six right now to have further injury to or uh, insult to injury. He said west was there thing. As once more Tito Mesa pulls eastwards. The west is one spot, three up, there you go, flak up charging in the midst of the penalty, which is a bit risky, you could risk him up around the train to the south of charge here. And good quick getting some kills, half HP for me too. And so we've got the full coming up, the T-54-6, almost done there. Flak half track moving in. Smoking off. Scamping on the centre. Shock Troopers, T-34 coming in. Direct hit. T-34 there. I can't let him get wiped out. Close with Penal Troopers. Almost getting wiped here. Down to one man retreating. Routing. Close the penal troops in the scent to cut off point. Nice nigga with their angry Dutchman. Slightly throw us off to the business calculations, perhaps. That said, the folks in the east eyed up a pretty precarious position here. T semi T for the moving into close to the threat retreat path, which could result in a wipe here, then if the don't retreat too late. And T Miss Quick Trip T semi in fact such a position. Setting the capable of the angry Dutchman, very much expecting now the T fit force from six on the field, and they're slightly going to be more away from T the Mesa. Fox Walk almost getting wiped out, okay, we're getting ready here, and there you go. Got here the T-70, Fox Walk the white, but I think he's going to turn taking out here with another shot, and got the T-70. T-70 is overreached, and Angry Dutchman slapped him into place, at least slightly. Booboo Terps and the Western Victory Point, thumbs up there. We got 376 with the Fiend 57. Deeper rushing ahead here. Ooh, those folks are going to be in trouble here with the T-34. Almost getting wiped there. But he does manage to salvage the wreckage for a bit of extra fuel. Can't like to go for the Penta for now. Though it is not impossible that Angry Dutch may just be thinking he can just go straight for a Panther instead. But there you go, we do get the Panther mod on the way. And you stay sad to clean out the booby trap here for Angry Dutchman. Keep it from moving in. Scrambling the east here. Two heavy tank ready for deployment. Mango Jaeger's routed, shot to him as well. And now Team Israel could go for a KB2. In fact, he's going to try and plan that. I'll play for that now. It might be a bit too risky though. Probably will be, because he basically is going to have like one line to tank the T-54 so he's going to try and stall for that. And it's going like he's going to hit him with a Panther more gear soon. So, while not impossible, it could just give enough uh, room there for Angry Dutch to like really get control of the situation. And then we'll charge, got Satchar going off there, shattering cover. And the button of why the process. Panther Full Mode almost done there. And there you go. Panther come find big effects right here for Angry Dutch and the third Panther V Sean. Should of course add the pin amount of MG42. And we got another line to tank here for Tinami. It's good to try and stall for the heavy tank on the back of light anti-tank guns. A bold maneuver, a bold maneuver. I mean he does have a significant lead, but even then. Can't help but feel this might be a bit of a no reach. Right, Tito Mesa just a bit. You see, they got a flag happening at the Fangry Dutchman, advancing for the glory of Deutschland. Teams on the centre of the Lekevin, and we're farming away here. West side there, Panther moving in, pretty much being added. Great hit on the Stuff Nikki. Farming in the centre continues here, unrelentingly. MD34 joining into pressing Panther bouncing shots there. Bosch realizes he's just lands a tank and he's getting a bit more bold over the Panther Force and does take less damage from them. And they have a lower chance of penetrating the frontal armor here. East side here steady advance there by Angry Dutchman. 
mine spotted. It's worth noting he's never clears them with the Sturm points of mines, which always assists him in shooting them. I'm not so sure I'm just I'm sort of lucky to it just because he likes it. Or maybe he's training himself to like just to able to deal with it faster and more reactively in situations where he can't use the Sturm Pine here safely. Like there are a few possibilities there from the uh, Angry Doctrine as to why he's doing it like that. Now yeah, again he seems to like not want to like clear them out. Do that. Then put engage, shot bouncing. This is one game the Panther 4. There we go. Deep hit four there. Went too far and Timizia got slapped into place again. And now he's not far from the KB2 though, and that will be a problem there for Angry Dutchman. But at the same time, perhaps not too big either now there's no tank to support it. 3 and 9 was a 3 and 31. In terms of victory points. Eastern fuel point there, rendered neutral but not claimed. Tinamis is currently about a minute and a half away there from the KB2. Focus on there, Angry Dutchman. Run him down at it. Was on halfway done. Black after changing halfway to 53. Holding the line for the German army, but he has struck me here to make any gains against the enemies, which is going to be quite stubborn in the defense and quite solid. He's down here for Tiramiso. The TM35 mine. Back here to bring forcing healing. Panther Force setting up five kills. Fünf. The enemy has 300 points remaining. Almost 10 points. We got less than 3 points left here for Angry Dutchman versus two enemies with a 326. And to the missile is now moments away from the KB2 heavy tank. That's going to be a uh, challenge there for Angry Dutchman. Unless to the missile happens it poorly. I mean, not impossible. But again. Not something to bank on, but the other hand, you've seen now Tim has been able to like be baited into like charging those like, tanks into the cabinet of his try, so who knows? Maybe that's how Andy does end up taking out the cave as well. Like he just baits Tim Mizzle into going too deep and then takes it out. And his cave 2 charging head here. His side here, we've got flat cap tank on the with the pins of the cave 2 goes westwards. There you go, folks, going heavy car will feel the wrath of Stalin. And there I go directly. Heinz, Otto, Lone to Bates as the KB2 just shatters their possession. Unless they were lucky enough to survive to retreat. KB2 keeps up the advance. He's moving up, got smoke in the center from the shock to this machine. A. KB2, oh dear, oh dear, not touch them. That seems to be a bit of bad happening. Can I have some heavy armor around this spot? Have had it before. Two, two, two kills, take part from the Kedmaphers, didn't get too badly hurt or punished for the Bazooka Kedmaphers here, that's lucky for Tiramisu quite a bit. The same time we got the infant for the bank of the shock troopers. Maybe we can take a bit of light damage here, still. Over a good position, there you go, shock around the MD34 in the center, forcing Angra to pull back. Schwerpunkt called fine, we got an Obsidian squad by the here from the Angra Dash now, very nice. I'm guessing we'll have to see more Panther Force here. Yak Panther, Panther have to deal with the KB2. Panther, Yak Panther, it's more likely, but we could just try and uh, head in with more Panther Force to deal with the issue. Fixing up the KB2 heavy tank. Equipped with a 152mm gun. Not a lot of them were produced, and it's actually a bit unclear how they were organized. Some in Papers seem to indicate that just like you know, one attacks here, you know, unit here and there. As a fun note, Boxing opening up, directly from the camera, the two front line on the west side of Shark Troopers, pinned to the team with the Obsidian here. Without further support of the Obsidian, I think we'll have to fall back here soon since they will struggle against these numbers. The bombing grenade will certainly help them buy some time, but dodge and there you go. Could see what with a bit of bad luck, Kevin Rowdy. K2 
Dean and Indy 34 of McKinnon. Cleared out almost. Pentwell rounding on the scene. Pills moving forward. West side here. Points being lost. We got 278. There's a few 11. Pentwell shoots. Misses. Oh dear. The sound charge on McKinnon. Destroying it and denying it. Got the next single. There go. Going for Yak Pants in response to this loss. I think that's a very good idea. Sending more mobile and also, you know, can fire from safe distance at the KB turn. There you go, Pepper going to be into two lightning to tank to find where this shot bouncing off the 80 millimeters in front line most of the time. We have secured. He's to make a few up in the big seats by Angle Dutchman's full Skandira. Flag up tank hanging back. We got almost ace level on it. We are losing supplies to the enemy. Pepper shooting away. Pentwell tanks missing the frontal armor. Turn up the two. The enemy has taken our supply sector. Black D. Brave infantry have made the ultimate sacrifice. Pentwell hanging back. They're almost taking out the entire full score with a single shot there from the 152mm gunner. There's no problem there, so angry Dutchman. But now with the Yak Pants, they may just be able to put some more pressure than to the Missus Heavy Tank. And there you go, Yak Pants with this high velocity in from the gun. Same issue as the Panther. Two, two, dang that. Can't see it though, he can't see it. To the Missus of the Wings, but not dangling it that much in front of Angry Dutchman. Now that is, quite frankly, a bit risky. She's going to send the point. Misa with the T-Fed push coming up and getting here the full body. So, position guy coming in to deal with that. K2 get there. We go direct hit from the outcomes of the K2. Punching straight through the side armor there with ease. Another hit there. Watch we're going through the front armor easily. East side, T-Fed push rocking here. Angry Dutchman's infantry unable to withstand the might of the T-54 panting up here, flanking right past him there, taking the king of mind the process. Thankfully, the T-54 is a bit slow in response here, and can't need to punish the Pant-4 for this. Though they still have a good chance now, they can't move as fast. Yak Pants have been flanking with the T-54, flag half-track, also top needs to pop smoke, make it too late. Yeah, it's going to be too late, I think, here. Yak Pants have missed, flag half-track abandoned. A stinging counter blow here by T-54, so Yak Pants lands a hit though. West side here, Pant-4 is at least able to escape. Hopes I'm going to keep in for pursuit of anti tank guns. Yak Panzer could try and pursue the T for a bit more, but doesn't. We got 263 versus 291. In terms of victory points. Yak Panzer there, half eight veterans one back here, troop reinforcing healing. T for four wreckage could be salvaged by her resources. And similarly could also salvage that. Oh, that could actually be repaired and turn against uh, Tiramiso. Whether or not it will do it, of course, is an entirely different matter. Stone Pony is the base, and he could maybe consider considering a uh, mechanized regiment. Destroying the flank after it gets uh, Angry Dutchman up getting that one back. After all, unless he gets very lucky, and there you go, well, couldn't take it out, but he could. Fixing up the KB2. Almost good to go. Got the orbs on the Aegis, it was the Aegis shot to the West, smoking it down, taking the Aptain back to the situation, gaining a kill and gaining Red Sensi 1. Get turn 63, there's turn 74. Gun hand gun out off the midst of the team, which was burning the map. West Sensi, we got two KB map, and the West side, we got two KB map, we're taking fits from the Panther 4 here, almost taking that, in fact, close to it, if you're not Panther Camp 3, KB 2, the game plan for the Aptain Panther. Lands another excellent hit there on the KB2 heavy tank, and another one gaining veterans on the process, which does open up for the cautious movement ability, which in fact does pop. And we got another T34 from six away for Tirabisu. Still maintaining, retaining over map trouble. Here we go. Angry Dutchman reveals his secret weapon it is a howitzer, the like the Fenthal Pizza Axie. He will beat Tiramisu's positions in submission teams, pounding them into the dirt. If he can hit them, it is. Fine, same thing, got one ace level, by the way. Yeah, 
and repositioning a bit. Now to halfway down there for Angry Dutchman. And Western Point. Got 249, that's 274. Quiet here, east side is actually wide enough. Angry Dutchman is going to say exploding here versus Tidamis, and it looks like he's sending some troops in to do that. That's almost done. There you go. KB turned the fire from the Ken Martha. Panther went to flank. Panther hit from the Ken, but not from the Panther 4. Yak comes me Malton doing nothing. Now hit from the Ken Martha. Panther 4 misses. KB to halfway to the Tomb Gun Nation 5. On the way up to the Mesa. Tank destroyed. Help deal with the enemy tank. Put on some armor. Not a bad idea. And the Howitzer is ready to find fans. I think we run around here. Directed from Yak comes to the Tomb. There you go. Howitzer gets a decent hit on there. Actually, doing some damage. Almost one there, almost another hit from the Phoenix from the center. Mine goes off, and the tank and crew suffer some minor losses due to that. Close one over the howitzer. And the center Phoenix got the center. So no kills on the howitzer, but at least did some damage. He's almost done there for Tidamisa. Close one there again. Only a bit of damage, but no kills, no casualties. I suppose could get some of the training units. Not, I guess. Close, but no cigar. Yak comes up with the Ops and Prime Count Friday. Yak comes going to the KV2, gets a good hit there. Half eight to finish on that. Yak comes there, going to the front, punching through the Yak punch. It's eight units of slug front llama. Another series of hits there. Bottom tree. Ops are hitting a mine. At least this time, sparing the Panther for the mine. Yak comes on, taking up the double anti tank guns. And I keep punching at the Panther Force front llama, but I'm having less success than penetrating it. He's coming up, T-31 on the west side here, 40 to mislink up maneuver the Panther 4. Perhaps destroying the anti-tank pincer maneuver. But, thank you judge for not allowing this to happen, time is up. Now it's a half area to find, we also got Sector Assault already here, for Angry Dutchman versus Tidamiso. 241 versus 253. Here to five, they're holding back. Got plenty of munitions here for Tidamiso, could consider laying down some more mines, we'll also lay down booby traps. Definitely a few balls, but I feel like a Tidamiso might be missing here versus Angry Dutchman, to be fair. Uh, it's almost good to fire again here for Angry Dutchman. Give okay, two million, good hit there, kills one and leaves the other rather fatly almost dead and traumatized. Close 52 there. Targeting straight ahead there. Going straight for the Ken. Nothing was got me tied through them. Set down just two men. Very, very close to the two men like Ken. Oh, KVD. Very, very close. Close to the team. Now sitting there. Go. Vetti to gain on the KV2 heavy assault tank. There you go. Yak Punch arriving. Shoots, penetrates. West side here. Got Phoenix was the other side and keeps you from going up there. Enemy HVM needs to support the service of the Yak Punch. Yak Punch there, close to it. Got a wipe here on Tidamiso somewhere. Machine about to get hosed. Yak Punch shoot gets another hit. Gaining Metro 2 shoot snared it. Orbs on right on the west. They're unable to withstand Tidamiso's might. Yak Punch there. Two kills. Panther will get to hit. Metro 3 gain on it. How to keep flying. Got four kills actually. Is he running to the base where he's flying exactly? I think. Oh, he's flying around here again. Close fence one there. And full put back, Yak Punch was back. Ooh, good hit there. Half 22 now. Ooh, close one there. That could actually pass up in a KL in the KV2. Another T-51 though for Tiramiso. We got 220 versus 224. Two from the Our territory is falling into enemy hands. Yak Punch being slowly fixed up. Now the T-51 is fastened. Good bit of damage there. Thumbs up to Dutchman, the option still got a long way to go. Well shot fire there, and Tiamiso cancel the T-54, goes for another H-55 tank destroy here to deal with all the German armor. Shock troops pushing through here, the open terrain. Also they're trying to stop them, but against the shock troopers, they're effective pass. Oh, grenade off there. Almost kills the white. We got a second Yak Punch for Angry Dutchman. A second Yak Punch. They're both going double tank destroyers. 
that is not something you typically see in the Obercorn vs. Soviet match, where any Obercorn's matchup really typically do not to double Yak Panzers. Time's almost good to go again. Touch to the Orbital Garden. Ooh, bang grenade off the midst of the shock troopers, leaving the entire unit almost dead. Don't leave me like this. SU-85 tank destroyer ready. There you go, second issue five down, and we almost got the second Yak Panzer down. K2 chatting head here. Direct hit. Oh, not a direct hit. Spoke to Zoom. Spoke way too soon. Yak Panther doesn't get a good hit there. Half A2, Veteran 2 3. Second Yak Panther mobilized here for Angry Dutch, and the third Panther is shown. Gets another hit there. Family Westwood, Panzer Ball rounding troops there. Jack Panzer misses the H-5, Panzer Ball again, all the Jack Panzer Ball support here. And seconds flying away there, we got 200 Panzer Ball troops in four. Out flying to the midst, Tim Cook's Sector Assault. They're going to get pretty dangerous to the midst, gets hit in both artillery. And Sector Assault here alongside an armored attack. But actually, they've done some serious firepower with the initial nature of the deal with. But so far, Angry Dutch is not coming that far. Yak Panther gets on the team 34. Yak Panther finds on the KV2. We do get Tech Assault now. He is going in there. All of a sudden, TV is in a pretty bad position. This is Luftwaffe comes alive. Tang into Tech. Tank to Tech. There you go. How it's hit there. Support almost takes up one of the Tank Destroyers. Infantry moving forward. Panther 4. One of the Yak Panthers down. Leaving the Oil Panther with just one to go. Attack here from Angry Dutchman. But for that, Angry wipes here on Tina Mesa, though. He's got two armored fighting meals that was almost knocked out. Neutral truck is blocked. Pack 4 getting ready to be fought. Yak Pack moves ahead here. Very close to the feet. Straight for the KV2 here. Good hit, good hit. We're taking hits from both the H5 that is functional on the KV2. The Yak Pack will push back. Getting ready to be free, though. Increased mobility and rate of fire. 144 to an 11, the fight continues. With no end in sight. Thanks for the understanding the story with both tank destroyers. The Kenner of Hanoi Frank with Dutchman. We have 200 points remaining. Ishmael rolling ahead, others being disappeared. I'll get him over there. We'll have to see if that goes from next. Smoke grenade off. Oh, that's not a smoke grenade. That's a regular grenade. That's a regular one. H5 going for the Yak Panzer. Don't take out this one. Risky though. Also, I think he accidentally presses the uh, focus on ability there. Could cost him the H5 tank destroy. Yes, indeed it does. Great though for Angry Dutch when he got rid of one of those. So he's just going for more T-34s. Need to fix up his Yak Panzer there. His Panzer for alternate repairs. Again, Mech and us repair regiment. Leave some additional stone parts. Put the good investment. Got more hard to fight here from Angry Dutchman. Let me take out the cave to the unit near it. Imagine we've gotten a direct hit on that. It could have been devastating for Tillam. He's just losing all of the years as possible to kv 2 But no such luck here for Angry Dutchman. And no such luck. Defense already. Post chat in the stuff Niki. So charge out. Wrecking the wreckage of the Yak Pants. Orbs are moving up there close to 53. Keep going out the right flank here for Tino Miso. Rushing westwards here. They've the upside out in the open, trying to cross into a victory point. But Tiramisu and the Red Army is having none of that. In the center, shock to the family fighting here from Gun Smoke Grenade. See from out the flank here. Halfway to the east of Yak Panzer strikes and misses. Less of an impressive strike, to be honest. Yak Panzer there, very close to 54. It gains even more rate of fire plus accuracy. Smoke grenade down again here. We got 134 versus 162. 
Ingo does have to need to come up with something. I think Jurassic have a chance at this, perhaps. Ingo 125 versus 162. 29 kills on the Panzer Kampfwagen Fear. Yeah, I think he needs to come up with some sort of flanking maneuver here as soon as Ryan and trying to just fight over the center. Okay, we're up again. Very close to the easel on that one. Jack Hans gets a good hit. Okay, we're not so much. We can jump there. We go. Okay, we're down to half. There you go. Jack Hans again. Legendary four. He's starting to get pantable around the penal to preserve with ease. Jack Hans moves up. Bounces off the KG's front armor for once. KG getting his first level. And there you go. Another hit from the Ark Panzer. Slowing him towards 25. We got 95. There's 162 people on the west side of the Obers Garden. Keep up run coming fire. There we go. Half wipes off the squad in the center. Jack Panzer. Steadily approaching there. Eventually five, half into the ace level, ace five the game next one, K2 pulls back here, another hit from the ace, or oh, semi-ace Jack Panzer. Panzer forming towards the center here. Another team from the foot team of musical slides going to go for another ace five here, perhaps with me. Um, team and dog for the Kimchi. Turn the down the center, causing retreats and casualties here for Tino Miso. 74, the son of 62. Angry Dutchman is bleeding out rapidly, needs to do something to stem the bleeding before he dies, that bleeds out. How to there? Vetsini, two six kills. Two three fours in healing. Panther four fours in the mountains in the center. East side, there we go. Two three four in coverage. Then the west side, we've got the other two for the four there. We got 56 versus 162. The enemy has only 50. This region means uh, precarious here for Angry Dutch versus Tiramisu. Precarious. We are losing territory. Third hit from again from the T-46 push down to half of the amount of moments. And Alvis takes it out there. Got it! A small one there for Angry Dutch. In the center of was the force finding up. South charge off there again. Could get a wipe here on him and... Oh! Gets it! East side there, point being grabbed. We got the T-Fed flipping up. We got a Yak Panther coming down the flank. Need to get some support up to deal with that one. Moving up the west side, deal with the Raquette now. We got an Orbison squad there in the way. He's swimming up there, on the path almost the Ace Jack Panzer. Directed here, almost Ace, they've got Pentabuzz off as well. Ace 5 came to hanging back here. Got the Settle Charges, or at least one of them, with the Settle Charge. One of the came with the Settle Charge, not uh, by the way around for that, that was nonsense, sorry about that. Came to the center of the team, we've got the point here. We've got 32 percent of 62, we've got Pentabuzz at the center of the Ace KD2, they're correct, take the Elvis taking out the King 2 Ace 5 turns around there. Almost Panther for this, Bale holding out there, good, gains the Ace, the Jack Panzer moving up there. KV2 fires away, I imagine, soon enough. Direct hit there, the Jack Panzer ace level as well. Benching 2 on the ace 5 Jack Panzer falling back, Panzer 4 falling back. We got 32 percent of 59. Machine the sending blast, he's engaged the Kevin Fold. West side here, point being grabbed. How to fire on the KV2, east side there, mine goes off. Going for the eastern victory point. Normal scout machine gun, Jack Panzer lands another crate and the KV2 tank. How to fire, trying to take it up. KV2 is almost down now. Tinamis was pushing too far here. And it's, I think, a high chance of losing it. Yup, main gun out, main gun out. Pushing up for the h Jack Panther, there you go. Baiting the range of the h 5 Shot bound. Almost got the h Jack Panther, the h 5 Now just kicked from the h 5 Or the Jack Panther and my Ken now. Both are missing, no, both are missing. Two reinforcing healing. Two for fucking rush to the Western Victory Point. They got 32 to 36. K2 being hauled back for repairs. He needs more engineers, I think, to speed up the repairs now. Got the Eastern Victory Point. We got 32 versus 134. Yakpan being fixed up there by Angry Dutchman. Storm Pionier. Got the H-5. 2 3 4 to Panther 4 blitzing in. A last attempt to Angry Dutchman. Win the game. Got the T from the other side. Here, South Charge attempt. I think it didn't work out. It was the bomb grenade. What's the bomb grenade? Came to the base. Ops on the retreating. Fumes retreating his role here. Cut. Angry Dutchman snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And there go. Gets the KV2 with a. Well, not quite heroic, but certainly dashing charge into Tito Mizzle's base. T for Force on the right. In fact, still got two, but now. May not be enough. T for Force main gun is out. Panther full causing a rampage. And it backs off. It backs off. We got the center of the Ark Panzer. Panther 4 Ace moving in to take out the T 34. Another Panther 4 Defending Dutchman. Chucking the Kenny to get the point there. Trying to get the Kenny off a T 34 kaput. 
jump on, he's aiming for him up the centre here. Panda Force shoots, oh dear. Tiramisu was so close, victory was almost his. But it seems to be slipping through his fingers like incredibly fine sand. Got an eastern point here. So yeah. Talk about a comeback here for Angry Dutchman. Talk about a comeback. Give some nice tank rifles. 32 versus 105. 85 Norman's dump gun, another pen for ready. Will it be enough for Tidemis now to turn the game around? Can he do it? 96 versus 32. Isak, Tifa force the fault gonna use. Ace Fire ready for Tidamisu and the Army of the Seventh Mechanized Core. <laughs> Yak Panthers for a great hit there. Smoke grenade off. Thank for the Tifa for the Yak Pants. Almost got it, almost got it. Travis the Ace Panther 4. I can actually comment Blitz, I think, take it out there since it boosts the rate of fire further. And Twitch can get behind him, he's been punching through. Yakpan's going in there, at which point he doesn't even need to. Ooh, but Kevin lands it, Yakpan's misses. You got 32 versus 71. Another team hit for Tito Miso. Yakpan's going ahead here, ever so lightly. Another hit, and then 1 1, that tank is going to be down. Again, never finish it off. And with that, Tidemis is out of the wall there. GG, game over. A loss for the Red Army. A victory for the German one. A brutal battle here on crossing in the woods. With some great action there. And a really tight comeback here for Angry Dutch. And Tidemis is a bit, a bit more wise than the KV2 probably could have won it. But in the end, T.O. had a bit more once last time. And then Angry Dutch was able to just punish him hard. So well played there by Angry Dutchman. Hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, under, tell friends, tell family, don't tell enemies. This is Imperial LinkedIn. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Hope you all tomorrow again for a nice episode. Bye.